In today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome effect inside of Adobe Photoshop where you can hold on to text. So let's get right into it. So once you've launched up Adobe Photoshop, we need to import our photo. And once that's imported, we need to begin by creating a brand new text item. So we'll press the T symbol on the left hand bar and we'll just generate some text. So in this example, I'm just going to type out holding text and I'm going to increase the size of this to fill up the screen. Now I'm just going to move this into position, just move this over the hands. And once you're happy with the position of this, we can turn off this layer by pressing the eyeball on the right of the screen. So turn off that text layer and then we'll unlock the background layer. Now with that background layer selected, we want to go over to the bar on the left and we want to find the polygonal lasso tool. And we just want to draw a mask around our hand. It's super important here to make sure you only draw a mask around the part of the hand that would be in front of the text. So in this example, you can see my thumb is behind my fingers and the thumb would be behind the text. So you don't want to include this in the mask. You only want to draw around parts of the hand that would cover the text if you were holding this shape in real life. So once you've done that, you just want to hold Command C or Control C if you're on Windows and then hold Command V or Control C to paste this layer as a solo layer. And now we need to do the same thing on the other hand. So using that mask tool, we're just going to draw a mask around the hand, copy and paste that into its own layer. So Command C and Command V. And if we hide the background layer, we have these two hands isolated on their own. Now from here, we'll turn the text layer back on and we want to drag the text layer underneath those two layers. So the holding text should be underneath layer one and layer two, and this should now be underneath your hands. Now we'll turn the background layer on and we'll take this effect one step further by adding a shadow of the text to the wall. This is going to add more realism and make this seem like this is part of the scene. So we'll copy and paste that holding text layer. So Command C, Command V on the text. We'll hold Command T on the keyboard to load up the transform tool. And we'll just change the position, the rotation and the scale of this text to fit the wall on the right of the frame. Once you're happy with the positioning of this text, we'll just press enter to confirm that position. We'll go up to filter on the top bar, go down to blur, lens blur, and we'll just increase the amount of lens blur to a higher number. Once you're happy with how that looks, press OK to exit the lens blur window. And we'll finish this off by pulling the opacity of this shadow down to a smaller number. So we'll pull this down to around 20%. And there you go. That is how you do the holding text effect on your photos inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next episode.